scores will take it up. And the team with the highest score takes the set. Second is worth two points. The draw is worth one. And it's the first team to reach five set points who wins the match. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes. So on to the, the field, field of play. play. And the, the team from team Japan. Gold medal match. The first outfit joining us on the field defeated Germany in the semifinals. Yeah, five, ranked number 10 in three. the world, but qualified in second Turkey, position six, for set points to this competition this week. Remember, Ladies a long gentlemen. week of shooting. On target number two. Started on Monday afternoon, and now here we are, mid-morning on the representing Sunday. Representing Japan. So representing Japan. Hayakawa Ren. Ren Hayakawa. Nakamura Miki. Miki Nakamura. Sugimoto Tomomi. And Tomomi Sugimoto. The Japanese team. And Richard, there's some archers who you'll know well there. Yes, as well. well. Ren Hayakawa, the uh, their opponent from Japan. Joining us now on the field of play. Won many medals in Asia. An outfit that has world yet to Turkey. drop a set. Uh, since they very landed cool, in Antalya, very much a team it has been perfection be, um, so far. They defeated the, the Russian goals. Federation 6-0 in the semifinal. After beating uh, Ukraine 6-0 in the quarters. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, that's right. on target um, yeah. number one. So, Representing Chinese Taipei, Lei Xianying. And here are their opponents from Chinese Taipei. Peng Xianying, Peng Xiaomao, and Tan Yating. Yeah, so Chinese Taipei, Li and uh, Tan Yiting, both very high-class performers, uh, won many medals between them. The line and judge again, for this matchup is team. Maria Larkina. Uh, Maria Larkina, who is our line judge for this match, sends the archers back to their coaches. A few last words from the coaches here, Richard. Right, what sort of things are you saying? Our second matchup of the morning. This will be the gold uh, medal match. Positive, positive Recurve women's team will be competition as Recurve uh, Sunday picked up, and you saw, of course, you know, the shop. impact that the air had earlier on in a, our initial matchup. Some arrows a tendency are going left and to do right. Very difficult and indeed to, try to compensate for the element of air. Very much present this morning out here in the prominent and iconic location of Konya Alte Beach. Uh, and Antalya, Turkey, smooth, strong shots. and Chinese Taipei uh, will shoot first on target one target when we commence. Away. Lots of You're matches to look forward to, of course, all throughout the morning. Uh, yes. uh, so we'll be switching over yeah, to recurve can, men you can lose right after this match. We will see more of a Team Japan and Germany, group, in fact, in the bronze medal matchup on the, the men's middle. side of the field. And then, of um, course, the big question of the morning, will Team Kazakhstan have to make sure you're be able to make it two left, for two right after taking down. gold in Shanghai weeks ago in men's team competition? Yellow, they will be up against Team Italy in a, a very few simple sport minutes when shooting indeed. Good. Very, very but for now, the gold medal match right. in the women's recurve team competition. You, um, you hear a lot in racket sports. We'll commence uh, in a of, few uh, moments indeed. Time now perhaps to uh, show some encouragement, ladies and gentlemen, as we go to the, the crowd. Really well, Let's or, hear it here. You know, Who's in favor of in, in Chinese being, Taipei? Being bigger all of a sudden when you're in form, it's easier to get the ball in. And I wonder whether the same is true in and archery, where you just find yourself seeing the target really well sometimes. Yes, sometimes the the middle can look very large. It's being one with the bow, it's very much the Zen principles. Um, they have to be inside themselves and not get too caught up with anything external. Um, it's quite a complicated series of movements, but it all kind of flows together. At the end of the day, they have to let the bow shoot the, the arrow. The artist's job is to open the bow, get some alignment, get some expansion, and let the bow shoot. The bow is a perfect machine. The, the human is is not so perfect. So, letting the bow shoot is what it's all about, and it will be Chinese Taipei who open us up here eight. in this match with an eight. Just overcompensated slightly for the wind. One of the questions the archers asked themselves was, was it me or was it the wind that made the arrow go where it did? That, that's a bit of anguish there. Eight. Me with another eight. Chinese Taipei girls have beautiful technique. You see very strong bow arms, firm anchor, lovely follow through. Nine. 25 points to start off with, with their first three arrows. Solid start in windy conditions and plenty of pressure too. So let's take a look at Japan. Eight. Very fast shot. 
Do you hurry yourself along a bit more in a team event as an archer because you know that your teammates who are following after you need to use the time you, you leave for them? Yes, definitely. The, they have approximately 20 seconds each per arrow. Um, the important Seven. thing is not to rush. The archers tend to rush too much, but they have to do their normal time, whatever their normal time of the shot is, they need to keep to that. But they just save time in the, in the crossovers. They don't waste time there. Eight. Eight there for Japan, so they're on 23. So there's a little two-point margin in favor of Chinese Taipei. Very early stages, of course. Yes, all to play for. So we're back with them again now. Eight. And another eight. Chinese Taipei grouping well, but they're just slightly to the right. First 10 of the match. And he's Taipei looking very good at the moment. They're a strong team, aren't they? Because they have another archer here who isn't even in this team, uh, Lin Shi Chia, uh, who will be shooting for individual gold against Senya Perova later on today. But uh, they've got real strength and depth at the moment, Chinese Taipei. Uh, they have a fantastic um, system in Chinese Taipei. Uh, it's all been developed by the, the best Korean coaches. So Japan now chasing 52. Nine. And that's a good arrow in that kind of a pursuit. But Japan will be uh, developing with um, Tokyo 2020 in mind. They have a, a long-term project there. Nine. Nine for Nakamura. You would expect to see her and Hayakawa in, uh, in contention in in Tokyo in 2020, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, most definitely. I mean, Hayakawa, very experienced. She's had a couple of years out with injury, and she's just come back again this year. Shot well in Shanghai. Again, beautifully still on the shooting nine. line there, and yeah. another nine for them. Well, there you have it, ladies and so gentlemen. 27 set points one is in same the books as the final three arrows for Chinese Taipei, which means that 50 points for Japan, 52 points for Chinese Taipei. So that means of 50 there. that Chinese, Chinese Taipei are taking in those two initial set points and go into a and two, two set to Two set points to none. Two set points to zero lead. Have yet to drop a set, of course, in competition here in Antalya, Turkey. Five points. After defeating Russia in dramatic style in the semis and the Ukraine as well. Those archers watching today just have a look at how lovely their techniques are, how they deliver off the bow and they deliver the bow into the tent. Two set points to none. And we all do, of course, remember Tanya Ting as a performance down in Rio 2016 for the Olympic Games, walking away with a team bronze medal. Also securing a bronze medal over at the Odense 2016 World Cup final as well. And Peng Shi, Peng Xia Mao, so 20 let's years of age, the up and cover they've taken Chinese to Taipei. the final here, Chinese the Taipei, Taipei yet to drop a set Games in this competition. Took a team they silver defeated medal. Ukraine 6-0 in the quarter that needs finals. No introduction. She was a part, of course, of the and Rio 2016 the Russian Federation 6-0 as well in the semis. As well. Also securing an individual bronze at Mexico City, the World Cup final, back in 2015. So Chinese Taipei leading the way, two set points to none. Tough. What kind of response That's is the Team excitement Japan of the set system up? actually in Let's match play out. now. I mean, it's changed a lot in the, the long time that you've been Team involved Japan in archery. First on it, target two. We'll touch on that in maybe a bit more detail later, but set play really does make the tension swing backwards and forwards in a match. It, it really it? does. You can be seemingly, seemingly a long way down. You can pull it back. In, in one set, the, the, uh, the future can change. Whatever arrows you shot in the last set, they don't count now. It's about the ones that you've got in your hat. Ten! It's just the start we needed. It's the first ten for Japan in this match. Here's Nakamura. Nine! see a lot of smiling from the Japanese team as well. Quite a happy team. Eight. Eight. Go. Hayakawa. Go. Yeah, she's not got centered yet. She's two arrows low. Nine. 
Eight. Again, all the Chinese Taipei arrows slightly towards the right, and the nines and the eight. Why are we seeing that? I mean, obviously the wind is a factor, although it's dropped a little bit now from where it was. Yes, it's dropped a little bit. It, it, you're just a bit scared sometimes to change your sight or to aim a little bit over. Eight. Again, okay, same kind of group. Right, yeah. From me. There's always a, a metal, a metal, a mental battle going on. Nine. So they're given an opportunity to Japan here. Eight. Looking to call their way back into this match and take this set. They have the advantage slightly. Yeah, the wind has dropped a little bit, which makes the shot a bit easier, but they have to get centered. And another eight. eight. They'd be happier if those arrows were landing in the gold right now, Richard, wouldn't they? Yes, they, they need to be hitting yellow. Secure. The plan is always to hit yellow. Eight. Eight. Yeah, she's still low left. That's three arrows in the same place she's had. So 51, a point better than they managed in the first set. But will it be enough? Ten. Ten for Chinese Taipei. And actually, you could see them, if they bring two more good arrows here, they might even take this set as well. Nine. We'll see Li Chen Ying again in the bronze medal match in the recurve women's individual later on this afternoon. First of two medal chances for her. Okay. Yeah, nine. Good, that's another job. nine. And that will be upgraded, but all right, ladies and gentlemen, there seems to be a question mark on that. 52 points for Chinese Taipei. Is it Chinese Taipei? 51 points for Japan. And that means that it is a 4 0 lead. So Chinese Taipei only need one more point to take this match and take the gold medal. And Japan just with their opening 10 of that second set, like maybe they were going to swing it. The uh, sum total for the moment, Chinese Taipei, 52 eight. to 51. Uh, with their last no arrows, it really did means give that, them uh, the platform and they're going to open the door for Chinese Taipei to come through with an easy set win again. Nice shots of the bow hand on the follow through. I mean, Staying archers with the shot. will obsess a little, won't they, about the setup of their bow. The, the so time now, perhaps, to go to the crowds use, a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, and show your encouragement, show your support yes, you, for you the team shooting on target number two. Days, weeks, months working on uh, getting Japan, the best out of tuning out to the bow. They're almost like a Formula One car, where the balance and the trying to get the best grouping. And, and obviously, Taipei, it's a real skill technique sport. So every day they're trying to improve on the skills. Put your hands together for Chinese Taipei. So, Go! Three Musketeers style handshake. So moving into set Chinese number Taipei three. Underway. Ken Tanya Ting, Peng Xiaomao, Lei Xian Ying. Get the job done now. Japan, though, who will shoot first Let's in this out. third and what you have to say will be a decisive set because Team unless Japan they will shoot first win on this set, two when we proceed. Yeah, the third set is always crucial. Uh, it's one you need to win, whether you're in the lead or you're behind. This is the one that can turn the whole match. So Japan know that only a win in this set will do. Even the draw will give Chinese Taipei the single point they need. So here is Japan's opening shot. Nine. And it is a nine. That's a start. Eight. A little bit tight on that shot. 
given where the arrows have been going on the, the target in this match, eights are not disastrous arrows by any means, are they? It's, it's, it's a relatively low scoring affair because of the win. That's right. Seven. Seven. A rueful look on yes. Nakamura's face there. She'll be disappointed with that. I've seen her shoot 10 after 10 after 10 in the past. Ten. Ten. Determined now, you can see that. Yes, full of confidence. They need to keep the pressure on. Ten. So often you see a team that looks like it's found its rhythm and then a team on the other side. It don't look like they've quite got it together and that's exactly what we've got here in this match, isn't it, Richard? Yes, it, it makes the job much easier for the coach if they all just keep delivering like that. This is about months of practice, thousands of arrows shot, a whole week of qualification and elimination coming down to this one moment. Nine. Better shot there for Japan, taking them to 33 for this set. Nine. This is better from Japan. Applying a little bit more pressure. So potentially the final shot of Hayakawa's match here. Should have want to finish with a 10. Nine. And here's a nine for her. 51, so. Consistent scoring for the Japanese team. 50, 52 and 51 with their three sets, but. but much lower than all their qualifying scores. Nine. Another nine for Chinese Taipei. And they did not drop a set on the way here. They look like they're heading for another 6 0 victory to take them to another gold medal. But all relies on some solid shooting nice. still, and there's and excellent. a great arrow for Lee. So only a four to win. Nice position to be in. You still have to shoot it. Eight. And it is an eight, eight so it's times gold times for this formidable women's team from Chinese Taipei. The first of four possible medals here in Antalya today. And they've begun with gold. Li Xianying will shoot again for an individual bronze medal this afternoon. Tanya Ting adding a sixth gold medal to her World Cup tally. And Peng Jiamao, she has another shot of gold in the mixed team this afternoon. But for now, they'll just enjoy this victory as the Japanese team Happy with their the silver, no doubt. Clenched fists. It's been a long week. I think you come away with a medal of any colour, Richard. Yeah, yeah fantastic. I, I, silver medal is there's nothing to be uh, sad about the silver medal and gold is where you want to be. The Chinese Taipei, very professional there today. They showed exactly what it takes to win. They obviously good equipment, but the mental game was strong. They physically, they're in a good shape. Technically great. Being a totally control the, 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 all the way through. And you talked about as they uh, give their thumbs up to the camera there, the, the program they put in place. Uh, they've been planning for this for a long time, haven't they? And uh, their domestic situation is really well set up now to breed some top level archers. Yes, they are very much a school system going into the universities. They have uh, a lot of good coaches there. The system set up by the, the guru uh, Korean coaches. Um, they know exactly what they need to do. Great support mechanism, and uh, but actually a lot of nice people there as well.